last time students so uh, today i will do some extra questions chapter 1 real numbers now question number 1 check whether 2 root 45 plus 3 root 20 by 2 root 3 is a rational or irrational number you are asked to proof asked to show what 2 root 45 plus 3 root 20 by 2 root 3 is a rational or irrational number now solution 2 root 45 plus 3 root 20 by 2 root 3 equal 45 means we can write 9 into 5 9 means what 3 is a 9 so 3 square so this is 9 into 5 9 means 3 square i have written here so 9 into 5 that is 3 square into 5 root over plus this is 20 20 means 3 into 4 into 5 4 means what 2 square into 5 so 3 into 2 square into 5 so 1 2 will come out so 3 into 2 square into 5 so 3 into 2 into root 5 plus 3 into 2 root 5 now 3 into 2 root 5 plus 3 into 2 root 5 so it will be 6 root 5 and it will be 6 root 5 by 2 root 3 by 2 root 3 6 root 5 plus 6 root 5 equal 12 root 5 this is 12 root 5 this is 2 root 3 if you cancel 2 6 are 12 so 6 root 5 this is 6 root 5 by 3 so rationalizing it multiplying by root 3 both both sides both a uh, numerator and denominator so 6 root 5 by root 3 6 root 5 by root 3 into root 3 into root 3 so it will be root 3 into root 3 and when you multiply the denominator by root 3 by any number you have to multiply the numerator also such that you will get the same result So root three into root three equal three, and this is six, root fifteen. So it is six root fifteen by three. So it is six. Six root fifteen by three is an irrational number. Six root fifteen. You can cancel it. Three to the six. Two root fifteen. It will be two root fifteen is an also irrational number. You can cancel it. So remember it. This is six root fifteen by three. is an irrational number now come to the question number 2 in question number 2 find the biggest number largest number that divides 31 and 99 leaving remainder 5 and 8 respectively now Find the largest number. Generally, when you are asked to find largest number, then you should find HCF. So find the largest number that divides 31 and 99, leaving remainder 5 and 8 respectively. Now, when you divide 31 and 99. both numbers by a number then you will get a remainder 5 for 31 and remainder 8 for 99 and both are if you subtract 5 and 8 from this number 31 and 99 then both are divisible by that number so that is the highest common factor that common factor is both in 31 and 99 but leaves remainder 5 and 8 since remainder 8 and 5 so it will be divisible when you subtract the remainder now when a largest number which divides 31 and 99 leaving remainder 5 and 8 5 and 8 respectively okay this is 8 8 5 and 8 respectively therefore you subtract the remainder 31 minus 5 26 
and 99 minus 8 91 this is 91 this is 99 minus 8 91 now 26 equal what 2 into 13 and 91 equal 7 into 13 7 into 13 therefore 13 is common in the both terms therefore hf of this two number is 13 now 13 is the largest number means if you divide these two number if you divide these two number by 13 then uh, 31 and 91 then leaves remainder leaves remainder uh, 5 and 8 respectively that's why the greatest number largest number is 13 now next question state the state the fundamental theorem of arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic state the fundamental theorem of arithmetic and is it possible that is it possible that hcf and lcm of two numbers b 24 and 540 b 24 and 540 respectively justify your answer means two numbers are there and in that two numbers hcf and lcm is it possible hcf and lcm 24 and 450 lc hcf is 24 and 450 is lcm is it possible means 24 is hcf and 540 is lcm of two numbers but you have to check it is it possible or not justify your answer so state the fundamental theorem of arithmetic just i'm telling the fundamental theorem of arithmetic i have not written here so fundamental theorem of arithmetic is every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes okay can be expressed as a product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order of order in which the prime factors occur so every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes that and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur now we are asked to check 24 and 540 uh, maybe hcf or hcm uh, hcf and lcm of two numbers or not now see hcf is 24 and lcm is 540 but we know lcm is always multiple of hcf ultimately lcm is divisible by hcf it is completely divisible so lcm by hcf will find 540 by 24 will get 22.5 since it is 22.5 so it is not it is not an integer 22.5 is not an integer hence so since 25 is not an integer so we can say uh, the numbers cannot have hcf and lcm that is hence two numbers cannot have hcf and lcm as 24 and 540 respectively because lcm is always divisible by hcf completely uh, when you divide lcm by hcf then you will get you will get uh, an integer number since we have not got integer 22.5 decimal number we got so that's why hence uh, two numbers cannot have hcf and lcm as 24 and 540 respectively respectively